friends, welcome back to my channel. We're starting round four of this greenery blanket pattern. We've gone from the greenery hat in one skein crochet and we're turning it into a blanket. So if you take photos, please post them on Instagram using the hashtag greenery blanket and tag me, the Ellen Gormley, so that I can see them. These are the colors that we're going to vote from in a few uh, more videos. These are the Brava Knit Picks uh, colors that I have. And here are the Love Crafts Paint Box colors. And I'm willing to mix them all together. Did you know, did you guess that I was going to vote on the purple for myself? I'm voting the first couple rounds myself, friends, just to get us started. But I'm going to ask you to vote on subsequent rounds after a bit so that I know that you're interested and then you guys can have fun joining and selecting colors too. So we're on now round four. I'm going to place a slip knot on my hook. Working behind the chain five loops, I am going to kind of fold this over and target the, the unused stitch right there. That stitch the marker is marking the front side of my work, by the way. I'm doing all the rounds on the right side. I'm going to yarn over twice because I'm joining with a treble crochet in that stitch. I'm holding those yarn overs tight so that they don't slide off while I place the first of three treble crochets in that stitch. Okay, so there is a standing treble crochet right there that I joined with. Now two more cro treble crochets. Remember that's yarn over twice. Insert in the same stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook three times. And we'll do that one more time so that we have three of them in the same stitch. We'll separate these three treble crochets by a single chain. Now, if you um, were interested in turning this into a hat, there is a video for the greenery hat, all in one color, where we don't have to cut and join new yarns. But by cutting and joining new yarns, we can reduce our stash, which makes me more relaxed to use up some of my stash. It's a valuable and relaxing use of my time and my stash. And it's so much fun. And you get to totally design it. There will be no two blankets exactly the same because hopefully you're using your stash, you're using your creativity. And then soon um, you guys can start voting on which color you want me to use next. Now, if you don't really care, but you still want to see more videos, you can just, um, I'm going to give you a poll option of, it doesn't matter to me, but please keep going. So if they'll let me do that as a poll option, I don't know how many poll options um, they're going to give me. So we're placing three treble crochets in each of the unused uh, stitches behind the chain five loops, separated by a chain one. Okay, remember that we're turning this into a blanket. Hopefully we'll have it ready for the gift giving season in the fall winter of 2021. And um, if I don't get 25 votes, that means you guys are not as interested and you want me to pause, but um, please leave comments if you're interested. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss subsequent videos. I'm going to download a bunch of these videos all at once so you see what's going on, and then I'll probably dole them out once a week for a while. And then if it slows down, I'll wait until I get 25 votes, and then I'll release another one. Also, by the way, it behooves you to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell because if you are watching this here in 2021, I have a giveaway going right now until July 15th, 2021. And then when I hit uh, 9,000 subscribers, I'm doing another giveaway. And 10,000 subscribers, we have a $100 gift card to an online yarn retailer um, when I hit 10,000 subscribers. So to help me get to that sooner so that you could potentially enter to win sooner, go ahead and um, find one of my videos that you like and send it, share it with a friend that you think might enjoy my channel or enjoy crochet content. So the whole point is to get us together to engage with each other. So that's why I love comments and I love voting and I love giveaways because it gives me a chance to really spend time with you. Look how gorgeous that purple is turning out. Okay, so we're just continuing with a chain one in between groups of treble crochets. Treble crochets are uh, two yarn overs and I'm kind of working behind 
I'm not even really looking at what I'm doing, so hopefully you're getting a good look. I'm working behind the chain five loop into that stitch, and I actually missed one loop there of the stitch, so I'm gonna release that and go back. So I like to do the top two loops of each stitch, and because I was working over a tail, I missed one of the loops. So yarn over twice, get it in there or through both loops of that stitch and then finish the treble crochet. And we're placing three treble crochets in that exact same stitch. So let's see here. What else have we got going on? So much fun stuff. So the giveaways are going on right now. I've got other projects I'm excited to share with you soon. Other projects I'm working on for you. The Intarsia um, Tunisian scarf was really cool and a lot of fun, and I couldn't stop making that. So check out the Intarsia Tunisian scarf project. Theo is helping again. It's so nice of you, Theo. Um, if you need yarn for this project or any other, I'm not an affiliate. I'm, I am an affiliate. I'm not sponsored, but there are affiliate links below to Knit Picks and Love Crafts. If you need to add to your stash, like I sometimes do, and if you're local to Cincinnati or you're visiting Cincinnati, I recommend Silk Road Textiles. That's my favorite go-to um, yarn store. And um, so make sure you shop your local yarn stores also if you have any nearby. Or make a field trip. Yay! Okay, I'm working over some ends while we go. There's going to be a lot of ends in this project, friends, because we're changing color every round. Okay. So I'll do at least one more video where I'm choosing the yarn, and then I'm going to start putting poles at the end of the next video, I think, and have you guys choose the colors. And that'll be the fun part that tells me whether or not you're in this whole um, swatching, swatch along, design along, uh, turn this greenery hat into a blanket marathon with me. But gosh, I was so in the mood to do a project that had a gazillion colors and just be really vibrant. Don't forget to finish with a chain one and join the very first stitch with a slip stitch to finish off round four, okay? Here we go. So I'm fastening off round four. And those of you who are right-handed, please click the upper right-hand corner of your screen to go to the next video. And you, those of you who are left-handed, please click the upper left-hand corner of your screen to get to your next video. So I hope you're loving this so far. Boy, I love that purple. That was a good choice. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you guys vote in subsequent videos. All right. I will see you on the next one.